What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. On today's episode, we are gonna be checking out the brand new Marantz AV10 and Amp10. These are perfect companion pieces for anybody who is looking for the ultimate home theater experience. All right, let's get into it. Built upon decades of rich heritage designed with timeless style and engineered for the utmost performance, the Marantz Cinema Series are the foundation of the world's most demanding home theaters. Excellence only begins with performance. The AV10 is a reference level 15.4 channel home theater pre-amplifier processor. The 15.4 channel processor has balanced as well as unbalanced connections with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Pro RO3D, IMAX Enhanced, and AK Ultra HD HDMI port supporting DHCP 2.3. This is the best in class consumer grade reference home theater processor you can purchase. It also also has Den and Hios built-in streaming. The AV10 and the Amp10 have peerless performance, immersive spaciousness, warm and rich tone, extraordinary detail, and lifelike dynamics. These are all legendary hallmarks of the Marantz sound. Marantz is a technology leader. The AV10 comes packed with the latest immersive audio formats, 8K video, room optimization, streaming, and more technology to simplify and elevate your enjoyment. It also has exquisite design. This new new front interface is absolutely gorgeous, a modern expression of timeless design principles. The AV10 features an iconic Marantz porthole, premium materials, and subtile sight lines that illuminate the front panel. This is new for this year, and it's absolutely stunning. Let's talk a little bit about the performance. The Marantz Sound Masters have meticulously tuned the AV10 for amazing performance with careful parts selection to create the most musical sound in your home. They have have thoughtfully curated connectivity options and fine tuning ability allowing you to make the AV10 your own. All right, so looking at the top of the AV10, starting from the left, moving towards the right, we have our digital audio ins. We have coaxial as well as optical, two ports each, as well as network, and then it leads right into all of our HDMI ports. We have full HDMI 8K DHCP 2.3 ports on this unit. We have a total of seven inputs and three outputs. We have one main monitor one output, which does have our ARC and eARC, as well as zone two, which is a 4K port and monitor two output. Moving over to the left-hand side again, we have our signal ground, we have our audio ins for phono, analog connections, and then we have an antenna, FM and AM, old school connections. We have our audio in assignables for CD, XLR inputs for CD, for all my hi-fi guys out there, as well as we have cable sat, aux one, media player, and aux two analog inputs. And then we have unbalanced pre-outputs for zone two and three, which is great because then you can output those to an X external amplifier specifically for just that zone. You could hook it up even to like a 70 volt system for a backyard distributed audio system and power up that full landscape system but have the audio outputting through the zone two or the zone three just to physically turn it on and to have a source to pipe your audio. As an example, you could have your Den and Heos going. You guys have heard me talk about Den and Heos a lot. Den and Heos is amazing. It's like Sonos. It gives you independent room control and it comes built into all of these Den and Marantz AVRs giving you the ability to say grab your music and pipe it to the AVR or in this case where I'm describing zone two and zone three you can take the audio and pipe it out to the patio or pipe it to the kitchen completely separate now keep in mind this is just a preamp so you do need external amplification regardless of what configuration you're going with whenever purchasing this product all right let's get back to the back panel so we have our DC outs one and two flasher ins and then amp control all of these ports are for control purposes this is going to give you the ability to turn the unit on automatically, tie it into a control system where you can set macros for say, turn on the projector, turn on the amplifier, turn on your preamp, turn on your Apple TV, turn it all on with one button press. So this is gonna be for all of your control purposes. Moving on, we have our remote control in and out. We have an RS-232C connection, and then we have our unbalanced pre-outs for 
all four subwoofers. And we actually have unbalanced and we have balanced XLR pre-outs. This is amazing that Marantz was able to integrate this into their preamp this year. The 7706, which was the predecessor to the AB10, was an amazing unit, but it was only 13 channels and it didn't have all of these latest and greatest features built in like four subwoofer capability. All right, we got a power supply over here, which is a five volt, one and a half amp. Then we have our AC in, this is the power port. All right, now looking at the bottom of the unit, we have all of our pre-outs in balanced and unbalanced outputs. We have our analogs and XLRs, front left and right, center, surround left and right, surround back left and right, front wide left and right, and then height one, two, three, and four outputs. All right, now we're gonna move on to the Amp 10 connections. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make the connections between the AV10 and the Amp 10. Starting from the left, moving towards the right, we have all of our analog unbalanced inputs as well as all of our XLR balanced inputs. I'm always gonna recommend guys, especially when purchasing this stack, that you get XLR cables. We do sell the XLR cables here at Dream Media. The VLOX is a quality XLR cable that isn't gonna break the bank. Talk with our spale specialist about purchasing this whenever you do get your Amp 10 and your AV10. We have channel one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through to 16. Now, whenever you're connecting it, you do need to select here on the toggle either RCA or XLR connections. Again, I'm gonna be doing XLR, so I'm gonna to toggle all of these connections down to XLR balanced. And then you even have the option to either buy amp, use it normally, or BTL. And then down here below, we have all of our power outputs. This is physically where all of the cables are going to connect to your amplifier and the power is gonna be sent out through to those speakers. So your signal's coming in with a source, say for example, your Kaleidoscape or an Apple TV through the HDMI ports. It's sending the signal out to the amplifier, depending on the surround sound format that you choose, amplifying it, and that's how you actually get the sound to come out of the speakers. And then it's breaking that video out through your 8K ports and sending it out to your projector or television. And then lastly, here at the very bottom, we have a few other connections. And these are again control purposes. So we have auto on and off. I'm always gonna recommend you just leave auto standby on. That way, whenever your trigger comes out of your preamp going into your amplifier, it's gonna automatically turn the unit on and off every single time, maximizing efficiency and saving energy. We have our amp control, we have DC control, we have flasher, remote control in and outs, and our RS-232C as well as our AC power supply. All right, that is a wrap on the back of the units for the AV10 and the Amp10. Now, I'm gonna make in a future video, a detailed video showing you guys how to make all the connections as well as taking a deep dive into the menu system. I'm actually gonna have this living in my home here. Right now, I just have a 5.2.6 Atmos system. I'm gonna be upgrading it to a, I think I'm gonna do a 7.4.6 with the RO3D voice of God is kind of the plan. But you guys will have to follow along with the channel to see what I have in store. In addition, to your XLR cables. Here at Dream Media, we want to empower you with every single tool to make the installation as seamless as possible. Here today, I'm gonna show the brand new speaker connection banana plugs. I'm sure everybody has heard about banana plugs. If you haven't, it just makes it to where you can plug in and unplug your speaker wires from your amplifier or AVR extremely easy. This is a manufacturer that I just found and have fallen in love with. Let me show you guys, it makes terminal terminating wire and making connections to your amplifier, an absolute breeze. And I'm gonna be using these going forward just because of how stupid easy it is. So this is the banana plug. You take your wire, you strip it back, just take like a quarter inch off, and then you enter it into this hole right here. And all you have to do, rather than a traditional banana plug where you got that tiny little screw that you're fiddling with trying to get it in there and tighten down properly, you literally just go, you snap it right into place. It's amazing. For all my custom integrators out there, you guys have to get these on your truck. It just makes things so fast. All right, Dream Media fam, that is a wrap on my quick overview of the Marantz AV10 and the Amp10. These things are absolutely gorgeous pieces. If you're wanting reference level home theater, this is definitely one of the products that you wanna consider. When you're doing separates, you're getting into a whole new ball game as far as the level that you can expect 
expect out of your system's output. We got 8K ports, we have a full 15.4 channel processor, 16 channels of amplification, eight ohms, 200 watts per channel. This is not an entry level system, guys. We're coming in at $7,000 per unit. Looking at a total MSRP of $14,000. If you guys would like to purchase, make sure to reach out and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. Keep in mind, if you are not gonna be DIYing it, we have a preferred installer network in over 28 different states at this time who can help you get it put in. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.